Nathan Bishop, uh, young goalkeeper from Manchester United, did really well in League One for Southend 18 months ago. Uh, had a great season at Man U in terms of not playing many games, but just training and mainly with the first team. So desperate to get out and play games uh, and delighted he's uh, going to be our number one starting the season. Another young goalkeeper, uh, probably a little bit less experienced uh, than Nathan, uh, but got an awful lot of natural ability and another one that needs to come into a first team environment, training every day with experienced pros uh, and hopefully he'll, he'll push Nathan Bishop for that number one shirt. We know Marek, ex good experienced goalkeeper. Uh, it's been interesting uh, seeing how he's reacted uh, to the, the two new lads coming in uh, and he's sort of his standards have gone up as well. Uh, so very good experienced goalkeeper. Uh, once again, will provide cover for us. Big season coming up, I think, for Kellen. Um, he showed last season a lot of potential, dipped a little bit um, sort of towards the end of the season and made a few mistakes. So uh, hopefully he will have, have learnt from them and uh, looking forward to seeing him really maturing uh, into a, a good solid right back. Young player, not played much last season um, because of the situation, done really well in pre-season. Probably one of our most dedicated professionals uh, in terms of how he looks after himself and the work he does in training. Uh, he's a backup to Kellen Gordon at the moment, but uh, if we do sign another defender, then there's a, there's a good chance that James will go out on loan, but he's in the first team squad for now. Uh, signing from uh, Grimsby in the summer, one of those that goes under the radar a little bit, but uh, we think it'll be a very important signing. Uh, plays numerous positions. Uh, fittest player uh, in pre-season, uh, led the way in the running, uh, so I think he'll be a valuable asset throughout the next nine months. Faz had a good season um, last season, um, played an awful lot of games, an awful lot of minutes for us, uh, so looking for him to take it on and uh, improve again uh, if we're going to be up there challenging, uh, but I think he's coming into his prime sort of Getting towards the mid-20s, uh, got good experience at this level. Uh, want him, we just want, like everybody else, we've just got to improve a little bit to take us to, take us to that next level. He's 36 years old, vastly experienced. Uh, I think he's really enjoying it. Uh, I think he did at the end of last season. I think he is now. Sometimes when experienced players are coming to the end and hopefully he'll play for another two or three seasons, but I think you appreciate football a little bit more and I think he falls into that category, being probably our most consistent player. Uh, he's made that position his own at the moment. Uh, I think his strength is obviously going forward. Um, put some great crosses in and he links up very well with Stephen Quinn down the left-hand side. Uh, so he's had a good pre-season. Uh, he's fit and he's strong and uh, he's going to be an important player for us. Settled in lovely, uh, very, very pleased uh, with what we've seen of him so far. You need good cover uh, in all positions, uh, but especially defensively. Uh, and not only will he provide good cover, but we're hoping that he'll push Stephen McLaughlin for that left back spot. Another young left back, uh, I think Jaden will, will probably go out and play some uh, football on loan, uh, but only 19 years old. And, um, I think he's got some potential, uh, but he, uh, he needs some experience game time at the moment. But he's had a bit of a stop start pre season um, with a hamstring injury. So we're looking for him to push on in the first few weeks of the season uh, and then see where he is from there. Good captain, first of all, uh, and a good strong midfielder. I think he gives us a great balance in there uh, with George Maris and Stephen Quinn. Uh, I think the way he goes around and disrupts the opposition, winning the ball back, uh, it is just what we need. Uh, and then his powerful runs forward uh, give us a good outlet at times as well. So um, I think he's a very, very good League Two player uh, who could probably comfortably play in League One. George's position's changed a little bit in the last 12 months. Uh, all of a sudden, he's sort of probably the deepest uh, line of the midfielders, but 
when you get somebody as good on the ball as George, you want to get him on the ball as much as possible. And by being that little bit further back, we're able to do that. Another one that's had a great pre-season uh, and it's a, another big season for him. Uh, I think we saw some, some lovely football from him at the end of last season. So another one we're looking for him to take it on. Very similar to, uh, to James Perch, vastly experienced uh, and sometimes they stand out uh, a mile in training and uh, in games as well, just for the, the fact of, of how they go about things and the decisions that they make on the pitch, which is why they've played at the highest level. Uh, so we're delighted when he came in on loan uh, and he's uh, as excited probably uh, as enthusiastic as he, as he was when he was 17, 18 years old. Harry's uh, had a bit of a stop-start pre-season, uh, you know, COVID during the summer and then uh, he's been injured so we haven't been able to see him in as, as many games as we hoped but we saw enough of him last season to suge suggest he's a good young player uh, who can once again fill in a uh, number of positions for us. We brought Ryan in to cover us uh, again and to not just cover, to push those midfield three that we've just been talking about, Ollie Clark, uh, Maris and, and uh, Quinn. So uh, he settled in lovely. Uh, he, he got some valuable experience in the championship at the end of last season with Birmingham. Uh, he's another one that wanted to come out and, and be involved week in, week out with the first team and, and play some games. So uh, I think he's got Welsh under 21 international, a lot of potential. I'm very pleased with him so far. Keaton came in the uh, last few months of last season and, and played some first team games. Uh, he's another one that's uh, in this group of young players that we've got that are supporting the first team and in the first team squad. Uh, but he knows that uh, he's got a lot of work to do to, to try and get in the team ahead of some of the names that we've, you know, the Quinn and Maris and uh, Ollie Clark and Ryan Sturk. So he's another young player that we'll probably get out on loan if we need to. Wonderful season uh, in goal scoring, a uh, little bit uh, interrupted with his injury, uh, which coincided with us having a poor run of form, which was no coincidence. Uh, so he's absolutely brilliant to have uh, once again plays in midfield or, or just behind the strikers is his favourite position. Uh, and he's one of those who can get you a goal at any time. So priceless to have that in your squad. Jason emerged into the first team last few months of the season, uh, last season and, and did very well. I think he ended up playing about a dozen games and uh, scored his first goal as well. Uh, he's, he's another young player with a lot of potential. Uh, it's a, a big season for him, but he's going to have to work hard to get in the team. Uh, so he's another one that might need loan football in order to progress his career, but he's right in it with the first team squad for now. Uh, proven goal scorer uh, from, from Orient, good experience uh, around Europe, uh, played at different levels, different countries and uh, 28, whatever, 28 years old now uh, and we think it is his peak in, in terms of goal scoring so uh, you can just tell even when you see him on the training pitch, he's a very clever player, an uh, intelligent player and we think he'll get goals. Ollie was one out a little bit out of left field because uh, you know people see a six foot six striker coming in and they think oh he's only good in the air. Um, he's very accomplished on the deck as well and uh, just settling in nicely. And when you're trying to uh, settle in new strikers, especially they need a little bit of time working together. But very very pleased with what we've seen so far. Reese had a wonderful season at Hartlepool last year. He's played in the in the football league before uh, and we. Uh, Fought up a lot of competition for his signature in the summer, but we thought he gives us a little bit of something different. I think his pace and his directness uh, is different to what we've got in the forward players. And once again, there's another one settling in nicely. Looking forward to seeing him this season. Jordan's had a bit of a stop start pre season so far, uh, been off for a bit and, and had a knock, so uh, he's playing a bit of catch up, trying to get some minutes uh, on, on the pitch. Uh, but another one, a valuable member of our squad, num a number of positions he can play. Uh, it's lovely. We, we believe as our, you know, we believe that you need sort of good options in the forward areas, uh, and he'll provide that. But uh, got Tengo, I think, got double figures last season. Uh, big, powerful, 
uh, strong player, going to be important for us. Tyrese emerged at the end of last season. He was around the first team, uh, but he got in towards the end of the season. Once again, another one got his first goal, uh, and he's a live wire. Uh, he's another one who can make things happen when he comes onto the pitch or when he starts. Uh, and he can play either up top or, or, or just off or wide. So, uh, but an exciting young player. Jimmy had a, a season out at Notts County last year where he didn't play as much as I think he would have liked and we would have hoped. But uh, good experience being around that level in the conference. And he's come back and he's, uh, he's vying for a place with a lot of good strikers we've got at the moment. So he's another one that will look at the situation uh, and if everybody's fit, then it might be another loan for him to, to progress his career.